but I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, the chariot, and it's with the seven of swords. Now, the chariot, it's showing that there um, is a lot of energy. And I say this because the chariot goes really fast. But the good thing about the chariot, it's not a free, it's not a free for all type of energy. It is not. It's actually directed. It's controlled. And it has a goal in mind. So, when this card appears, you're likely to be really clear on what your hopes and your dreams involve. And what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now, this card, it does point to determination determination and it points to ambition it's also about getting things done testing and proving that you've got what it takes so it's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot but remember when you get the chariot you're gonna have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to be truly successful. Now it's with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. So if you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, Unless it's that of your minor child who has given you calls for concern. Then you just might want to rethink the impulse. Because we all know everyone deserves privacy. So Pisces, the chariot clarified by Seven of Swords for the recent past energy for you and your person. So yeah, Pisces, this person that you're dealing with... I don't know if you know this, but they, they, they probably did a lot of watching you. If they didn't tell you this, if you don't know it, that's probably what they did. That's what I'm getting with the Seven of Swords. They were really sneaky about it. The Seven of Swords can be a sneaky energy. They watched you. They probably stalked you. Now it's with a chariot, so it's telling me that this person, they liked what they saw. And they were making plans to come towards you. All kinds of plans. Yeah. This person wanted to, um, probably, yeah, they wanted to get to know you better. The stalking was not in a crazy type of way. It was just like a very interesting, um, curious about you and they liked what they saw so it looks like this person they um, came towards you with a plan and a goal and a dream so yeah they, they wanted to know more about you so they they probably it looks like they kept tabs on you because like I said seven of swords it is, it can be the stalker card. Um, they would, when they um, um, started doing the spying or watching you, they realized that um, they were very interested. So, yeah, you just had someone, um, Pisces, that was, that they liked what they saw and they wanted to know more. So, they decided to rush towards you because like I said the chariot goes really fast but it has a plan and it's it's about ambitious I mean it's about being ambitious so yeah you had someone that was very interested in you 
So let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Nine of Swords. And it's with the Nine of Cups. Okay. Um, also, I just, I just want to stop right now because I want to say that some people say they have a hard time hearing me. Um, I'm working on some changes here. Um, some people say they can't hear me. A lot of people say they can hear me. And when I play things back, I can hear me very clearly and very loud. So, I don't know. I'm working on some changes. I've been doing the spread for a while. So, I'm working on revamping everything and trying to make sure that um, everyone can hear me. So, like I said, um, things are in the making for changes. So, yeah. If you can't hear me, like some people say they can't. Others say they can. Um, if you have some earbuds or headphones, yeah, try to plug those in because that will help until I um, work things out and change some things here, which I'm working on. So, yeah, earphones or earbuds, headphones or whatever that is, it will help for now. So, Pisces, coming up, like I said, Nine of Swords, and it's with this Nine of Cups. Now, the Nine of Swords, it's about needing to guard against some feelings of anxiety. So, if you start to feel anxious, you might need to take a good look at whether or not any of this is under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or other people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. So, if this is the case, maybe take a good look at that. And see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. Because there could be something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger, or just different than it is. So, try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things, and just know that that's where the beauty really is. Now, it's with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is is um, actually one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to get in a reading. It's known as a wish card. Yeah, so it can mean that what you are hoping for or what you're dreaming about it's most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time so the nine of cups um the appearance of this card is usually about happiness good things to come it also usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life so when you get the Nine of Cups, Pisces, if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. So, once again, coming up, Pisces, Nine of Swords, clarified by this Nine of Cups. So, yeah, this is, this is interesting here. So, this person that watched you, or kept tabs on you or stalked you because they liked what they saw and they were, were planning to take action. They were ready to come towards you. Uh, it looks like coming up for the two of you. Yeah, this this could um, this connection can cause you some anxiety because the nine of cups, I'm not the nine of cups, the nine of swords, the card book above the word present. It's about anxiety. Yeah, you could start to um, be nervous about um, something. Anxiety, that's what, I'm, that's what it's showing here. Yeah, you, what I'm getting here is that you could start to feel that this is 
something that you've been wishing for. Maybe this person has has all the qualities that you've been always wanting. Maybe for some of you, you, you just got out of an unhealthy relationship and you weren't expecting this to be going so well. Yeah, because you got someone, this person's really, they want, they want to get to know you. Maybe you weren't used to um, people like that or people approaching you in, in this kind of way because this person is planning to do things with you. They're ready to take action towards you. Um, they have a goal and a dream for the two of you. And it's causing you some anxiety because you were not expecting this. And this um, person could it could start to feel like this is someone that you, or the type of person that you've been wishing for. Yeah, so you got some anxiety about it. And for some of you, the anxiety is because you just got out of something. Or you just got out of a relationship. And you weren't really ready to, you weren't ready for another one. Not right now. But, yeah, so, some anxiety. You would know what it is. Why you have anxiety, Pisces, because um, Nine of Cups is showing that you could realize that this is someone or, yeah, this is someone that, you, or the type of person that you've been looking for. But you're not ready for it. Not with this anxiety card right here. Um, yeah, because this Nine of Cups, the card below the word present, it's, it, it indicates very strong desire. Feeling blessed and satisfied. So you're feeling like you, something good is finally coming to you, but you're not ready for it. It's causing anxiety. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming. No, let's see what the challenge is going to be for the two of you. Okay, so we got the strength and the two of cups. Now, the two of cups, it often refers to a romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance. It can speak of friendship, joy, and it also speaks about sharing. So this card, Two of Cups, it says that things are likely to be going well. So you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Yeah, this Two of Cups is beautiful. It represents true love, a balanced partnership. It represents commitment. All the things that we all hope for when it comes to love and relationships. Now, it's with the Strength card. With this card, it's important to um, make time to meditate, contemplate, and maybe spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you've got uh, 19 kids. But don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Because I say this because the outward things, they'll be going all right. But what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Yeah, not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So, conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. So, you challenge Two of Cups, clarified by the Strength card. Yeah, so Pisces. There's, there's anxiety here that you're having because you weren't expecting this. Yeah, you've got very strong desire for your purse, for this person. Very strong desire. You weren't ready for this. It seems like you just, all of a sudden, something good all of a sudden just rushed right on in there. And you weren't ready. 
like I said, for some of you, you just got out, out of a relationship and you aren't ready to jump right into another. But things with, with you and this person happen so fast. Now the challenge, the two of cups, with this clarified by the strength, is showing that for some of you, um, you were hoping to just work on yourself. Because the strength card can be about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. Yeah, like I said, some of you just got out of a a rough relationship. And you just kind of wanted to do you. But then here comes this person that that feels like their, their wish come true. And you got very strong desire for them. Yeah. And they see you like the Two of Cups. Yeah, the Two of Cups. It's starting to feel like coming up that um, this is the perfect connection, the ideal partner. They're really feeling you and you're really feeling them. Yeah, this Two of Cups is beautiful. It's about a harmony. It's about a union. It's about a deep connection. A very romantic love. Like I said, it's what we all hope for when it comes to love and relationships. That can, it could actually lead to marriage. It could lead to proposal. That's what you get with the Two of Cups. So you both are starting to really feel each other. Yeah. So that this anxiety is, is telling me for a lot of you, you weren't expecting it. Yeah, you were, for the new year, you were just looking to work on you. You were just, you just wanted to do you. Be stronger. Work on yourself. But here comes this wonderful, wonderful connection. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We've got the star and the ten of cups. Now, the star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired, more hopeful about the future than you've felt in a while. You could also feel more confident that your needs, they're being met. Yeah. Whether it's emotional or maybe financial, or it could be both. They're being met. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, but when you get the star card, it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. So this could be a spiritual card also, where you could find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation. Now, it's not a common feeling, so... Um, yeah, try to savor it. Now, it's with the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Ten of Cups is another of the most uplifting cards you can receive in a reading. Yeah, um, Pisces, this is actually really good, this reading. You got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And you got the Two of Cups. Yeah, some of you are going to have a it's good. This is going to go in. Well, this is February. Yeah. Some of you are going to have a wonderful February. Wonderful. Now, um, Ten of Cups, it points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Really good card. It speaks of happy family life, even if you're single. To the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, your children, your pets, and much more. Once again, you could be spiritually fulfilled when you get the Ten of Cups. It's also a part of the picture here. Great card to see regardless of any question. So, the outcome, Pisces. Star clarified by the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so like I said, you two are really starting to feel each other in a big way with the Two of Cups here. Yeah, this is this is your person. That's what I'm getting for a lot of you. This is the one. You just weren't ready for it. 
right person, wrong time. You know how that goes. You're just going to work on you. You're going to do you for 2021. So it's saying that this person has turned out to be everything that you always wanted. And you, them, you both are feeling each other the same way. Um, the star card here, this person, they like the way you make them feel. The star card is about feeling rejuvenated, hopeful, having faith once again. Renewal, it's about inner clarity. It's about feeling like miracles do happen. Yeah, so you're making this person feel just fabulous, rejuvenated. Any grief that this person had of the past, it's all gone when they're with you. Yeah, it's all gone. It's like it passes erased. So, it's with the Ten of Cups, the Star card. So, it's saying that this, this could turn out to be... It's saying it's a, it's starting to feel like and it's going to turn out to be a dream come true. Ten of Cups means it indicates that it's a dream come true. Ten of Cups is a dream come true. Nine of Cups, you got that here too. That means a wish come true. Your wishes are coming true. Yeah, so this is absolutely beautiful. Ten of Cups. If you're worrying about a relationship, and you get the Ten of Cups in a reading. It's an indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. Because you and your person, you're on the same page. And yes, you are. Two of Cups. Great cards here. Yeah, great reading. This is, this is a, this seems like a faded meeting. The two of you are supposed to, are supposed to be. Ten of Cups can lead to marriage, commitment. Yeah, so beautiful Pisces. That's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below of um, personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Let us all thank God that things are not worse than they could be so hang on in there pisces stay strong take good care come back and join me for the next pisces reading just in case this reading did not resonate maybe the next reading will and keep in mind when you get the readings the roles of the people can be switched yes they they could be you or you could be them and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, can be a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.